All right, Green Thumb Garden family, a lion unleashed back at you from right here at the Green Thumb Garden Channel. Right here in Grove Zone 8B in Tifton, Georgia. And our backyard food forest here at Pineapple Place, where we're currently growing a total of eight Del Monte pineapple plants here at Pineapple Place. They are in various stages of development. These first three in this uh, first row here are our oldest pineapple plants, followed by that second row, which is our second oldest pineapple plants, followed by that third one in the back, which is our oldest, uh, our um, oldest um, pineapple plant, and that uh, last one in the back, which is the actual uh, youngest pineapple plant, right there in the back, back there. At any rate, Green Thumb Garden Channel, this is actually a pineapple top from one of the pineapples that the um, cold killed here this year. We had a total of three pineapple plants planted here earlier this year, all hosting pineapples. We had three back-to-back -back days of frost um, after the last expected frost date here in the Tifton, Georgia area, which killed the pineapples and the plants. However, this top is the only top that survived that cold spell here and which makes it, even though it's our smallest pineapple top, that makes it our oldest pineapple plant here at Pineapple Place here in our backyard food forest. But at any rate, what I wanted to show you guys here today is how resilient pineapple plants can be. Again, we had three fully mature Del Monte pineapple plants planted here, all hosting small pineapples before we had that uh, three back-to-back -back days of frost here at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel. It killed those plants and the pineapples. So we put those plants up. So we put those plants up. We brought those plants down here to the back down here. They were all brown, dead, yellow, just no life in them at all. And we tossed those plants up under this tree here. This is an old, invasive, undesirable tree which we didn't really even have this thing here in our backyard food forest but nevertheless green thumb garden channel and nevertheless that was about three four months ago when we tossed those um dead plants beneath this tree as you guys can see um it's shady back here there's shade back here no direct sunlight strikes this area regardless to what time of uh, day it is here so these pineapple uh dead pineapple plants have been over here in the shade beneath a tree for the past four months at least green thumb garden channel but take a look at this take a look at this if we were walking our trusty guard dog mrs oreo over there this morning taking her on her uh, morning walk here in our backyard food forest this green thumb garden family this is what we discovered beneath this tree where we tossed those three dead pineapple plants about four months ago. Take a look at this. You guys see that dead plant? Well, take a look at this. Bam! Can you guys see that beauty? Isn't she lovely? Again, as you guys can see, I simply tossed those dead pineapple plants over here beneath this tree on the ground. The roots are above the ground, laying right there, as you guys can see. But we have a brand new beauty sprouting right there. That's that first pineapple plant. Take a look at this. Bam! That is that second pineapple plant that we pulled up from Pineapple Place about four months ago. And take a look at this green thumb gardening family. Bam! That is the third pineapple plant that we pulled up from Pineapple Place. As you guys can see, the roots from this plant is a D indeed again on top of the soil here. Same thing with that one back there. That's the old original plant that you see all dead and withered up. And we have three brand new Dale Monty pineapple plants currently growing out here in the shade beneath this invasive tree. So we're gonna get out here later on today. I'm gonna bring our wheelbarrow down here. We're gonna grab these three plants. We're gonna clean them up a bit, get them in pots and we'll bring you guys back at that time and show you what they look like. Thanks for watching. And if indeed you currently are watching this video on 
Dale Monty pineapple plants and how resilient they can be regardless to what Mother Nature decides. And you're not already subscribed to the Green Thumb Gardening Channel. Please indeed take this moment to put that subscribe button beneath this video, that like button, that notification button, and be sure, Green Thumb Gardening family, be sure, be sure, be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well. Yeah. Growing Del Monte pineapple plants at Pineapple Place in our backyard food forest. Thanks for watching.